Hello YouTube and welcome to another video from Just My Opinion UK. Today I'm bringing you a very cool watch. Uh, in my opinion, probably the best watch you can buy if you want in just one watch as a tool watch. Something that you want to have as many features as possible um, for a reasonable price. Now this is the Amiga Seamaster 300m Professional. This is a coaxial GMT chronograph. Uh, the reference number for this watch is 212. Dot three zero dot four four dot five two dot zero one dot zero zero one. This watch is the recommended retail price is four thousand seven hundred and twenty pounds with any Amiga boutique. Um, however, be warned, you will get a discount with the boutiques if you ask. So always ask for discount uh, if you're purchasing new, obviously. Now this is a twenty-four hour GMT, so you can see here on the outer edge of the dial you can see the number one three five seven nine eleven and so on and that goes from one all the way around to 24 so your, your little gmt hand here is keeping track of one time zone while your normal hands are keeping track of your time zone so a lot of gmt's you find especially on the like the rolex the gmt master 2 and so on have the the time around the bezel now this watch quite cool in the way that it's the time is on the actual dial which allows the bezel to be a diver's bezel which I mean I think is pretty cool the downside of it is it's quite difficult to read this if, if you're reading these in you know the dark or if you're reading them on a dark area it is a little bit difficult to tell the time on the GMT um, I like the fact that they've done the feature um, but they are quite tricky to read it, it would be easier to read it on the bezel but I can see why they've done what they've done. You know, they've, they've gone for a dive and GMT. So I can see what Amiga have tried to do with this. They've, you know, cr full credit, full marks to them for having a, having a very good go at it. Um, it is tricky to read, but, you know, how often are you going to need the GMT feature? Um, you know, for me personally, not very often. You know, once a year if I go on holiday. So I, I can live with that. That's fine. Um, I, I use the diver's bezel more than I use the GMT. So for me, this is cool. Um... So yeah, so it's a, it's a 24 hour GMT. It's also a chronograph, which is quite a rare combination to find. So you just start there. You can see the second hand makes a start. Really, really liking the little red tip and the red hands and the just the little bits of red added to the watch. It just adds that little bit of bling, a little bit of zing to the, to the watch. Um, so yeah, so you've got your chronograph feature. So you've got your 30 minutes. You've got your, uh, is that 12 hours? And then you've got your second hand here, which is for the normal time. And this button triggers your second hand, which is going, and it goes all the way down to 60 seconds. So this is your, your sort of stopwatch that's running at the moment. As it clicks over one minute, it will register on the there, and it will register one, which we'll allow it to do in a minute. As that clicks around, it registers the hours, and so on. So really, really cool. This little one here is registering your normal seconds uh, for the normal time so really really cool watch um, this watch is running with the 3603 movement so uh, that's a coaxial movement so it's obviously got the coaxial and it's the got the a helium escape valve here as well and it's a 52 hour uh, reserve on this watch so it's a very very respectable power reserve uh, on a full on a full charge now if you watch, you'll just see this click to one when it passes there. There it goes, there we go. So that shows the one. So then to stop it and reset it. So yeah, very cool. You've got the date window at the six o'clock position. You have got the, as I said, the helium scout valve. It's the screw down crown. You've got your uh, start and stop and your reset button here. It is the unidirectional bezel, so the bezel goes the one direction. Um, that, that's for obviously time in dive depths. It's a 44 millimeter case, so it is a fair, you know fair chunky old beast. Um, you know, really nice size case. Uh, if you like larger watches, uh, it's a 21 millimeter lugs. So from lug to lug is 21 mil. So it might make it a little bit tricky for, for if you're putting it on rubber straps. You know, getting a 21 mil. You know, it's Getting a 20 is easy, getting a 22 is easy, is easy but 21 is a little bit more trickier. Um, as I've said, it's the 3603 movements with a 52 hour power reserve, which I think is very, very respectable. 
Um, very respectable to the power reserve. Now I'll just show you. So if you unscrew, I'll put it on quite tight. If you unscrew the crown and pull it out once, this is the feature I wanted to show you, which is really this is like this is very very similar to the Planet Ocean. If you want to alter your hours, you just turn. If it's over twenty, you just turn that one. So you don't actually have to affect the time. The seconds are still running. The the time the, you know the, the the watch is still running while you're altering the time. So if you are moving time zones, um, it is quite useful. And so say for instance you want to time one time zone, as well as time the, the zone that you're in, you can alter this very easily just by doing that. And that is also how you change the date. So I think that's a, a really cool feature. Uh, just push that in, give it a few winds to lock the lock the crown down. So it is on the back of the watch in true in true tool watch style. It is the logo case back. It's not the um, display back. So it's it's you know it's proper tool watch. Um, it's got a really nice Seamaster logo there. It's got the Amiga clasp, as seen on most of the divers' watches nowadays. You know, the Seamaster Professional, the um, Planet Oceans and so on all have these clasps. It's got the divers' extension, which is just hidden just inside there to go over a wetsuit. Really nice, positive, you know, close on the, um, on the clasp. And just the two buttons to open so really, really nice quality there it's the traditional Seamaster bracelet which is one of my favorite bracelets I love this bracelet I think it's really really comfortable to wear um, it's got the screws for adjusting the bracelet so again really really easy to adjust the bracelet and if you if you hold the watch like that and um, you can see how you know what little flex there is in the you know movement in the bracelet there's a little bit but there's not you know not a lot it's really really nice quality bracelet is this um for such a heavy watch it needs a good sturdy bracelet so they've done a really really good job on the bracelet i, th I feel it's the proper it's just a it's a cool cool watch is this it, you know the bracelet the case everything about it is just a cool watch it is very very heavy uh, being 44 millimeters it's by no means a light watch it is very heavy so it could be it would be nice to see it in a titanium rather than steel, stainless steel, because it is a, it's a chunky old beast of a watch, is this. Um, if you compare it to, I'll just take it off. If you compare it to my Rolex Submariner, you'll see there is quite a size difference between the two watches. And if you look at thickness you will see this is a fair old beast of a watch but very cool watch uh, let's pop that back on so yeah so th this watch to me is the, it's the swiss army knife of watches it's got all the features you could possibly want from a tool watch um, it's got the ceramic bezel so it's it's the same bezel or it looks to be the same bezel found on the planet ocean um, really nice bezel. I love the, you can just see it in certain lights, how they've done the, the circles as the design. They've not gone over the top on design of this watch. They've kept it very tool watch like. So, you know, this watch is a watch that does what it says on the tin. It will tell you the time in different time zones. It will tell you the dates. You can use it for timing. You can use it as a diver's watch. Um, it just, it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. If you are looking for a watch on a, if you can only afford to own one watch, but you're wanting to get the most for, for you know you, the most bang for buck, this watch is a contender without doubt. You know, in this watch you've got a, you've got a GMT, you've got a chronograph, you've got date, you've got time, you've got a divers watch, 300 meter divers watch. So it's a professional bit of kit. You know, this is no Mickey Mouse sort of 50 meter, 100 meter thing. This is a 300 meter divers watch. Um, and the sheer size of it and weight of it, it's just, it's quality, it's a quality, quality watch. The other thing I like about it is it's a very rare watch. And when I say rare, I don't mean it's rare to get hold of, it's very, very easy to get hold of. 
it's in the boutiques now. Um, you can buy this directly from Amiga, any Amiga boutique. Um, it, this watch will cost you £4,720 before discount. So it's not rare in the way that it's difficult to get hold of. It's rare that not many people own it. And the reason being is because this watch sits bang in the middle between the standard Seamaster and the Planet Ocean. So people will, st will step over this watch and buy a Planet Ocean because that is, is what the boutiques will tell them to do. The boutiques will tell people, you know, step over this watch, don't bother with this one, go for the um, Planet Ocean. Rightly or wrongly, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's a, a future video to consider. But as far as a tool watch goes, if you want a watch that does everything, this is definitely one to consider. Um, really, just it's a cool bit of kit. It's got everything on it. It is the Swiss Army knife of Amigas. It's a, just a cool, cool watch. Um, it's comfortable on the wrist, albeit a little bit large and a little bit heavy. Uh, it's two, mil two millimeters bigger than the standard Seamaster, so which doesn't sound much, but it, it does make a bit of a bit of a difference. It's mainly its depth. You wouldn't wear this watch with a shirt and a suit, you'd wear this watch, you know, as a tool watch. It is a tool at the end of the day. Um, and Amiga aren't making this a dressy watch, they're making it a sporty tool watch that can be used for multiple purposes, um, which I really, really rate it. Now, just getting on to the finances of this watch. Now, the reason I'm doing this video for you is because I bought this watch on a little bit of a whim, because I've seen this watch in the boutiques, uh, I've known of this watch for quite some time, it's the current model, um, and as I said it's £4,720. Now I would never ever ever pay that amount of money for this watch because I'm saving for several other pieces and this watch would just stop me from doing it. I purchased this for £2,800 uh, and that was from eBay. Now the seller took some pretty poor photographs um, I'm just going to charge it actually to give you a bit of a loom shot because I haven't done that yet. I haven't checked the loom. Um, I purchased it from eBay. I did a um, an offer which was accepted. Let's try the loom. I'll turn the other light off. see the loom so yeah that's, that's cool so I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not but the minute hand is a different green to the rest of it so that's that's a really good loom actually I'm impressed with that it's a very good loom back on. so yeah so I purchased this one from eBay um, £2,800 now this is a 2014 model, although it is the current model, um, you can purchase this watch as we speak um, for 4720 You don't see many of them online because they are quite a rare model and as I've explained just not many people buy them. Uh, and I don't really know why because they are a very cool bit of kit. Um, would I pay 4720 for it? Absolutely not. £2,800 puts it in at I think very good value for money for what you're getting. £2,800, you're not buying much watch for that sort of type of money pre-owned. Um, you're buying an 8500 Planet Ocean, you're buying um, Man on the Moon, that type of Amiga. This, a professional diver's watch with all these features for £2,800 puts this, in my opinion, as probably the best tool watch for the money. Best bang for, bang for buck. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, take a look at this watch. Honestly, this is a watch that I wouldn't disregard. Um, I'm going to put this up for sale. It's not one that I'm keeping because it is too large for me. Um, I bought it because it was very good value and I bought it because I wanted to do a video about it because, you know, I do think it's a very good bang for book watch and I think you guys would benefit from owning such a watch. If you, look, if you are looking to purchase one watch that does everything you can imagine, this is the watch to buy. Uh, 2,800 pounds on the pre-owned market. It's a steal. It's an absolute bargain. Um, I'm gonna put this watch up for a couple of hundred pounds more than I paid for it, and just see if I can make a little bit more money to try and upgrade the channel. Um, I know a few people have said that I need to increase the volume, so maybe I'll put it towards a microphone. Uh, who knows?
But thanks for watching. This is Just My Opinion UK. Uh, please take a look at my other videos, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.